Hello again, everybody, and another very warm welcome to Edenza Park and the Sydney United Sports Centre, where we've got a tasty one for you this afternoon. The history and experience of Sydney United 58 versus the vibrant youth of Sydney FC. Now it comes to Sydney United's number nine, who was being held the whole way by Gerd. Clever ball taken quickly. Payne into the box and lost his balance at the crucial moment. To groans from the crowd here in the Bocker stand. Segacic with a lovely touch and then a ball to match it. Clayton Taylor's onside here and Yanni Fragayanis went diving across to make the block. Flood of blue swarms back to help defend and tell me now. Only just over the top of the crossbar. He's looking lively, Patrick Ann, tell me. United have really had the measure. And Payne's getting a header on goal. A very good save by Adam Pavlicic. Had a clear view of it, but it was a free header for Chris Payne. But did well to force a very good save. To take the in-swinger this time. Oh, and Paul got a head on it. And Nizic claims it right on the line. They've looked dangerous from those again today, the Young Sky, young sky Blues. Forces it long in the air. That wind is blowing from left to right as you're looking at it. So it carried the ball forward. Madonis and tell me in space. Deflection. And it meant that it just sat up for Pavlicic to claim it comfortably. Paul's looking for the long ball. It's not what Gosti wanted. It's certainly what Segacic wanted though. He's got the wrong side of the offence. And he's flashed it across the face of goal. Clayton Taylor. Probably say the same for him, that he wasn't too involved in the first. We know he can produce a moment of magic. That's Kanagosti, who's running at the defence. Segacic, just a little bit of a loose touch, came back to him. Oh, and another dangerous ball, the second in five minutes, that just didn't have a blue shirt attacking it. Bilic Fatasai, who has space. Adamson out of position, and red shirt's joining him. He's gone for goal, and Pavlicic beats the initial effort away. Trafiro was there, Tassai again. Adamson wins the header. And eventually the danger is cleared. Poor turnover from Picardis, who just looks like he's running out of steam a little bit. Agosti flicks his way past the aforementioned Picardis and lines up as well. Oh, it's an effort that had Nizic diving for his post. Ball carrying ability, there's no question about that. But sometimes the distribution doesn't quite match it. Bailey Rule's distribution was more than fine there. It's picked out Bilic. Still full of running from left fullback. Looks to get it on his left. Towards Pekadis. And what a save again by Pavlicic. Chris Payne it was who got the header on it. And he's starting to ask what he has to do. Adam Pavlicic has stood up big again. Sydney FC's goalkeeper for the second week in a row. Glasson. It's been a... Willing runner since coming on. Now he's got a bit of quality to go with it. Finds a Gosti. Twisting and turning. Back to Glasson. The two substitutes linking up. Now Adamson's wide. Joining in. And Gonzalez was just given the opportunity. Play on, says the referee. They wanted a free kick. City United. Glasson! Another brilliant substitution from Jim Van Weeren. And his first goal of the season for Mitch Glasson. Sydney United cannot believe it. Still about a minute, I think, for Sydney United 58 to find something. And every sky blue shirt is back in the penalty area. Good throw in. Gerd got something on it. Not far enough away, though. Fragianis hoists it back in. Payne's there! Off the crossbar. And then Agamemnonos. It was a big appeal for handball. I think it was Matthews who got back there, the substitute. Trankosby has been taken off, so they're defending this set piece with 10 players. It goes long. There's a couple falling over, and Pavlicic claimed it on the bounce. No red shirts close enough to it. Went a long way from Bilic, and he will take every one of the six seconds he's allowed here, Pavlicic. Thumps it all the way almost to Nizic's penalty area. Fragianis knocked it forward, and the final whistle confirms a big upset here. Sydney FC, winners at Adenza Park for the second year in a row. This one, not by the extreme scoreline, but it was just as hard fought for.